This quick video explains the use of the new Windows Object Library built for AGI32 version 14 and greater. This library is available from the AGI32.com downloads page, which is linked on the right side of the home page. This is a beta release of the Object Library and it is not installed with the program at this time. To use the library, first download the zip file. Then you can just extract the contents into the Object Library folder. Here's how to find the Object Library folder. Go to System Settings. Go to File System, go to Program Data. Under Program Data, you'll find Object Libraries. So right here, see? Program Data, AGI32, Object Libraries. All the Object Libraries have extension OBL. So just unzip that file in here and you'll have Windows.OBL. There it is. Okay. As you can see here, these windows have surrounding surfaces so that they are recessed into the wall. All the exterior surfaces are ignored. They also have mullions and will appear more realistic in your visualizations. Use anti-aliasing as a handy trick to make things look nice and pretty before you export your views, by the way. Okay, so here's how to use the library. Here we have a simple room. Using the library is easy. You can cut the holes first and then place the window object, or you can place the window object and then cut the hole. I like the second method as I seem to make fewer mistakes that way. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Let's go into elevation view on the north wall. Let's go to the object libraries, scroll down the windows, and here we have all the window sizes. There are metric sizes as well, prefaced with a little m. And let's go ahead and take the 30 by 72 by 5 inches deep. 5 inches deep means the depth of the surround. We have an opportunity to change the surface properties here if we like. For example, there's the glass that's highlighted. All the visible transmittance is 0.8 as set in the object libraries. If you want it to be something else, change it here. You can also tint it as well by changing the color. Okay, ready to go. Now simply place the window on the wall. Okay, so we two have two objects placed on the wall. Next thing we need to do, go to the hole cutter, select the wall. Now let's just come down here and you may need to set your snap a little differently. So you can just trace the perimeter of the object, right click, and then you do not want to include glass in the opening because you've already got glass in the object library. Okay, one more time. Select the wall. And that's all there is to it. Let's go to render mode. Here we have our two windows placed in the wall. Let's go ahead and turn on daylighting. Enable daylighting. Let's pick a site. How about Roswell, New Mexico? We can see if we can find some aliens down there. And let's dial the time back to Oh, about 10.40 in the morning, and let's put these on the south side. And let's go ahead and select the Perez sky. Ready to go. All we need to do is just turn on adaptive subdivision and calculate. So we've got that summer sun very high in the sky, and you can see those little sunspots right in there against the wall. But you can see our windows in the wall. Look a lot more realistic now. Okay, that's the easy way. Let's go back to plan view. What if we want to place windows on one of the other walls, or perhaps an angled wall? It's a little bit more difficult, but not a whole lot. 
let's go into elevation on the west wall and let's place a window again windows and 30 by 72 notice that we're not in the proper view to be able to see that window as we saw it on the north elevation so let's go back to plan and let's zoom down here all we need to do is just rotate that object in place and we rotate it about the point that places the window glass on the exterior of the room okay so you can see the mullion there and the glass is out here on the outside of the mullion okay back to the elevation view and now it's simple go back cut a hole and we're good to go there so now we've got three windows placed let's look at the south elevation because the the east elevation is actually similar to the west so the same sort of thing happens but let's look down here on the south so what if we go into elevation view down here let's place a window object there oops well looks a little different doesn't it let's look in plan view and see what happened ah it's actually on the inside so what we need to do is rotate that window around to place again the mullion and the glass out here on the outside surface so this is again why it's sometimes easier to place the object first and then come back and cut the whole second again because I think you just make fewer mistakes that way and we'll cut the hole no glass let's go to render and there we have some improved window objects it's kind of a nice addition so please give us your feedback tell us if there are sizes that we've missed obviously there will be and let us know what they might be and how we can better make this object library useful for you. That's all there is to it. Cheers.